Hi, I'm Jochen Schleden. I'm here to help you tell if your saddle hurts your horse. Poor saddle fit can cause discomfort and pain, even resulting in permanent damage to your horse. Here are some signs to look for. Sore sensitive back, overdeveloped bulge, under neck, tight back, dip in front of withers, moving down and away from pain, stressed abdominal muscle, tight barrel, hunter bum, kissing spine, dry spots under wet blanket, white hair in the wither area, stumbling or tripping, cold back or cinchy, does he pin ears, rolls eyes or switch tail when saddling. Your horse may be acting out because of pain, rearing or bucking, chomping at the bit, head tossing, reluctant to move forward, lack of engagement, not round, general bad attitude, resents work, pulls or roots down with their head, hollow stands back, four beat canter, refusing jumps. The tail is the elongation of the spine. If you go to the left and the horse is bent to the left and the saddle goes to the right, which it does, of course the tail will go this way. Here are some saddle design features to look for. Look for channel freedom, for complete freedom for the horse's spine. If the saddle is too narrow in the channel, the saddle sits on the spinal transverse. What happened next is no circulation in the hip or in the SI joint. And then you see horses getting a dip, also known as a hunter bump. You want to make sure the saddle stays straight. If the saddle falls, or twist and sits on top, the stress will follow his spine and will then create quite a bit of a discomfort. Inside every saddle is a saddle tree. The tree can be adjusted in the tree width from narrow tree width, medium wide, and in the tree angle from a wide angle to a narrow angle. Underneath every saddle tree is a gullet plate. The angle of the shoulder needs to match the angle of the tree. The shoulder comes back, the shoulder slides through. The saddle is designed to change to the ever-changing horse. A typical three-year-old, five-year-old, eight-year-old. The horse is put on the pasture, the horse has a fall. There's a rise and fall of the withers and the width change in the tree is fully adjustable in these saddles. If the tree points face forward and the shoulder goes back, this would really hit the horse and would damage the cartilage. The importance of a rear-facing tree point allows the shoulder to come back to not chop off the cartilage and damage the horse's shoulder for life. Look for shoulder relief panels. A shoulder relief panel accommodates larger shoulders. A horse moves like us, diagonal. And if the saddle is rigid, it would interfere. The freedom in the movement if the saddle tree completely follows the diagonal motion of the horse's back and the swing of the horse. This horse presented with tension behind the saddle. Notice how the gluteal muscles in his rump pop up. He also has a ridge of tight muscles directly behind the back panels of the saddle. To avoid discomfort, he is effectively dropping his spine down, dropping his hip, and tensing up through his muscles. He is almost what we would call disjointed between the front end and the back end, and it's much harder for the rider to sit. The white spot on the withers is a thermographic image revealing heat and inflammation caused by pressure points from a pinching saddle. Now that this horse is in a correctly fitting saddle, you can see that he actually has spring in his lumbars. He has stopped dropping his hip down and is traveling straighter and more balanced. One of the most important points is that these saddles fit the shoulders really good. All human beings are uneven. Also horses are uneven in the shoulders. And Jochen Schleser developed a system that he can make the saddle trees in front of, of the shoulders a little bit uneven so that both shoulders have freedom. And I can see that with my horses that they are much more rising their front legs because they feel well with the new saddle. They are much more one piece. They are not the wither, the back, the haunches. 
It's one piece because there's no saddle hanging in the middle and the horse can work fluently under these saddles. Riding shouldn't hurt. Ride pain-free for you, for your horse.